Chairman Reed, uh, before I ask my questions, I have an objection. We've been having hearings in a classified setting on this, our first public hearing. But in, and I'm sorry Senator Kane has, has had to step away, but in a previous hearing, um, he expressed frustration um, in, in various hearings he had been to, and a frustration that I shared, that when the State Department is here, and we ask them a question, they say, well, you have to ask the Defense Department that. And now, uh, today, again, Defense Department people are before us, and a question was asked, and, and the answer to Senator Inhofe was, well, you have to ask the State Department that. Uh, Senator Kane gently but fatherly sent a message to the administration at our last classified hearing that we need to cut that out, that members of the Defense Department need to be ready for the questions that we have asked and that we're going to ask. And so I object to, uh, to the continuation of that in this hearing today. Uh, while I'm at it, I would also point out, uh, General Milley, I appreciate your statement and I've read it and I understand what you're trying to say. I, but further than, than what you um, um, mentioned, the allegation is that you told combatant commanders to report back to you. Our clear understanding is that they are that they are not in the chain of command. You are not in their chain of command. That they report directly to the commander in chief through the secretary. And so, to the extent that you told them to report to you, they were not in your chain of command. Now, let me see if I can get one question in here, having uh, taken two minutes to to uh, uh, mention a, a very important objection. Um, General Milley, in, in the fall of 2020, you said an acceler accelerated withdrawal um, would um, risk substantial gains and damage U.S. credibility. And I want to ask uh, our witnesses about U.S. credibility. On July 8, President Biden said, the likelihood there's going to be Taliban overrunning everything and owning the whole country is highly unlikely. We now know he, he was advised, actually, this might happen. Turns out... He, it was completely untrue, that statement on July 8th. Later in July, the President of the United States, President Biden, says, I trust the, ca the capacity of the Afghan military, better trained, better equipped, and more competent in terms of conducting the war. President Biden was wrong on that. We told our interpreters, our drivers, our friends, the people who had had our backs during this entire period of time, that we would not abandon them, and that's exactly what we did. And in an interview, it's already been referred to um, on uh, network news, President Biden says, and I quote, if there's American citizens left, we're going to stay and get them all out. Two days later, the President of the United States unequivocally said, any American who wants to come home, we'll get you home. We're going to stay and get them out. The President of the United States, our Commander-in-Chief, did exactly the opposite. Now, I think you were right, General Milley, when you advised that, that um, our credibility would be damaged. Our credibility has, has been gravely damaged, has it not, General Milley? I think that our credibility um, with allies and partners around the world and with adversaries uh, is being intensely reviewed by them to see which way this is going to go. Uh, and I think that damage is one word that could be used, yes. Yes, and uh, Secretary Austin, no question that this sends a disastrous message to China and Russia. What message does it send to our NATO allies and our other allies around the world about not only our credibility, but our national resolve? Uh, thanks, Senator. What the world witnessed uh, is United States military evacuating 124,000 people uh, for, out of a contested environment in 17 days. Well, you, you uh, testified that that was a great accomplishment, our withdrawal and our evacuation. What about our credibility? Uh, as, I, as I engage uh, my, my counterparts, uh, 
I, I think our credibility remains solid. Clearly, uh, Senator, there will be people who question uh, things going forward. But I would say that, uh, you know, we, the United States military is one that, uh, and the United States of America, uh, people place uh, great uh, trust and confidence in. And relationships are things that we have to work on continuously. And, and we understand that and we'll continue to do that. Thank you, Senator Worker. Senator Gillibrand, please.